what's up everybody welcome to the my rc life youtube channel where we do all things rc and a little bit of everything in between let's go what's going on everybody Texas mike from my rc life today we're getting to work on the old sonic wake but what we got here is a dual inlet one there and one here dual inlet cooler or this one we got here is just a single inlet the single inlet comes in from here to the motor out the motor into the ESC, out the ESC, and out the side of the boat here. That just makes uh, too much heat. So we have uh, this nice beauty here. So we're going to go ahead and install this today. It does involve modifying your boat a little bit. Let's go ahead and get after this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to you want to pull your old tube out of the boat there. Now this tube going into this hole, it is a little bit, it's the small, it's the tiniest bit smaller than here, than this one. So when I put this through the old hole, I am going to add a little bit of some type of silicone or shoe goo or something to make sure water does not get back in there. And then our secondary hole, because I got to drill another hole, second hole, I'm going to just drill a little smaller than that one. And we're essentially going to have one hose going straight to the motor and then out, and then one hose going straight to the ESC and then out. All right, so first let's go ahead and install the rudder. All right, so we got that hose out. Get this hose off. We're gonna go ahead and undo this little tiny guy here. All right. Now there is a bolt right here you gotta take off your shear way pin, but I broke that last time I had it out. <laughs> so that one just came off really easy for me. And technically, you don't have to take that out anyways. Now there's another little Allen head right here. Go ahead and loosen that up. You don't have to take it all the way out, I guess, but I'm gonna because I'm gonna re-Loctite it. I'm gonna get my little vice grips right on top of here now. Just wiggle this baby back and forth, pull the pin right out. Okay. Pull the whole rudder right off, just like that. Now we gotta take these two bolts out. All right. And you're going to want to put the new one on just like this came off. So just like that. But before you reassemble, don't forget your Loctite. Put that bad boy right back up in there. Something like that. A little bit more Loctite on there. Oh, 
Okay, looks something just like that. Now I took that threaded set screw all the way out, but this one comes with its own and they are different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick this one back in to the old rudder. The new rudder is the next one smaller, which I don't know if I like that, but oh well. Loosen that up a little bit so the pin can fit. All right. Actually, I'm going to loosen it up all the way because I need to get some Loctite on it. Next, I'm going to get it right in place here. There is a flat on your pin. So you want to make sure that's facing your hole. You don't want it turned like this. You want it turned like this. So it hits your hole right on. Ooh, and it's having problems getting down that hole. Good thing I test fitted it before I tried assembling. So you might have to Maybe tap it in there a bit. There we go. Now we got her to go in there a little bit better. Okay. So the set screws right here. So we don't want to have it in this way because there will be no way we can get our Allen wrench in there. But if we have it turned sideways like this, we can make our Allen wrench hit right there. So we'll have this completely sideways, get our pin down in there just like that, and our set of screws right there. I know you can't hardly see it because it's so tiny, but it's there, trust me. Put a little bit of Loctite on there, get her in the hole. All right, now it's on there nice and good. Perfect. Nice movement. I like that. Go ahead and plug in our batteries so we can center the servo. Our steering trim in the center okay so the servo is centered go ahead and turn that back off now we just need to get our rudder on our rod here It's uncentered again because I just heard the thing spinning. All right, let's take this uh, screw all the way out this time. That's probably a better idea. All right, get our rod on there all the way. Do this again. Okay, so now that's centered. Go ahead and straighten this out as much as we can. Right there looks nice and straight to me. Put a little bit of Loctite on here. Screw this bad boy back in the top. Okay, so the rudder looks to be installed. Um, I noticed this screw here wasn't very tight either, so I'm going to kind of refine that a bit. Here 
I got that snugged up a bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our breakaway bolt in there. All right, got that in there. Actually, instead of having to use shoe goo on this, on this new hose, because it's a little smaller, I'm going to try to reinsert this hose, because there's no reason why I can't reuse this from here to the motor, and then I can just put new hose on from the motor out the side. I'm going to maybe try to oil it up a little bit. This is just some air tool oil to some thin oil. I can just put on it to help kind of grease the hole up a little bit. It's kind of hard to shove it through. All I'm doing is kind of putting my own wrench in there, making sure I don't puncture the hole, the hose, and uh, shoving it, and I can feel it coming out on the inside a bit. Okay, as you can see, we're pulling it back through. All right. Now, I did poke a couple holes in it, so... I'm going to go ahead and trim that off a bit. Hook one of them up. Steer it back and forth, make sure that's enough tube. Looks like it to me. And then I put a hole in it right there. So I'm going to cut this a little bit below that. Do you ever got the little hole in it? Yeah, you don't want to do that, people. Then right here is the inlet. Hook that back up. All right. Now the outlet comes here and then it goes back into the ESC because like I said, it had a shared water line and that's what this is going to um, get rid of for us. So we're going to unhook that. And then we're going to have this so it goes just right out the side of the boat. So we're going to use a bit of this. It's just going to slide right on top of this. Now sometimes it might go on a little bit harder. Because um, these lines, if you notice, they're just a little tiny bit different size. I just got this at the local hardware. So what I do is just take like a Phillips screwdriver or something that'll make this just a little bit bigger on the end. Just kind of stick it in there and make that end get a bit bigger. Then put it on. Might even lightly heat it up with your heat gun when you try that. That could possibly help. But the Phillips did the trick for me. All right, so that's nice and on there. Nice and perfect. Okay, now we need to figure out where we're gonna exit this. We don't wanna have it like pointed like this, that's gonna kink it off. So maybe have it just kind of flowing back this way. Put the hole like right here somewhere. Have it come out like that and that way this isn't going to be kinked off because if we put the hole like our original hole is like up here 
somewhere. If we did something like this, it could want to kink the hose off, you know. So, right about there somewhere is probably where I'm going to drill my hole. Okay, so let's see what size we got here. Point 0.19. So we want to make it just a titch smaller than that. Get out our drills. We got point 0.17. I think we should be able to make that work. Actually, I found the one in between there because this was an 11 64 and the 3 16 was missing, but I found it in my other drill set. 0.18. That's what we're going to use. All right, we're going to try to put it on the same level as this one. You know, it's about yay far down the side there. We're going to do it by this back here. We can go ahead and trim this off a little bit, leave it a bit long. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull that back off the motor and see if we can just shove it in through this way first so I don't have to reach my hands in that hole of the boat. I'd rather shove it in from the outside first. All right, it's coming through the inside. Just like that, slide that back on the motor. Perfect. Now we're going to want to do the same thing back here. So I'm just going to stab another hole right next to this one here. Go ahead and jam our line in the back here. Pull it out the inside. This one's going to go on right on the top of that guy there. Like so. Then we want to unhook this guy here going into the ESC okay we can trim this down and this can just slide right onto this guy it's, it's good that it's nice and tight on there because you know it's not going to come off very easily all right, so now we got our dual inlet, rudder, and cooling system installed. Now the only thing left to do is uh, grease up this prop shaft. Eight millimeter nut on the back here. Go ahead and loosen this guy up, take him all the way off. Slide your prop off. Spin your shaft until you can see your Allen head nut right there, your Allen head set screw right there. Slide that off. Don't ever lose your little washer there.
Hold one still. I should have the proper size wrenches for this, but I do not have them up in the RC studio here. So I do what I got to do with my little vice grips. Let's see if I can hook on. The, there we go. And she was still pretty greasy, but we're going to go ahead and re-grease her back up. Just gonna slide her back in here. Shove it way up into the collet inside of there till you feel stop. Get all that excess off. I just use some track power gear grease, waterproof lubricant. As you can see there. And then once that's shoved all the way back in that collet, you want to tighten the collet back up. It's all tightened up. Next, we got to put the prop back on. Like I said, don't forget your washer. Put that washer on. Spin the motor till you can see your flat. Put your drive dog on, or whatever you want to call it. Get your set screw. Now I am going to put just the lightest dab of Loctite. Tighten that up a bit. Put that on. And this is a lock nut so you don't need to Loctite that at all. It's got its own locking properties built in. All right, guys, and it's ready to go. Well, that's it for today. I can't wait to try out the boat on Higgins Lake. A uh, big, beautiful lake with some beautiful blue waters. Uh, I've never had this boat out on a lake that big. I can't wait to get out there and uh, give it a shot and hopefully we won't have no overheating issues since we have our dual feed rudder installed now that's it for today guys i'm traxxas mike from my rc life and i'll see you later see ya thanks for watching another episode of my rc life don't forget to like comment and subscribe